Why is quantum mechanics invisible on a large scale? Let me show you. We're going to be using this equation for the energy in a particle in a box which has different energy states. So let's find the ground energy of an electron that is trapped within a box that is similar to atomic size. So let's pick the size of the box L to be, let's say, 5 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. So this here will be 5 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. Let's find our lowest energy level. Let's say our first energy level, which is equal to 1 squared, which is just 1 times h, which is Planck's constant. So this will be 6.63 times 10 to the power of minus 34. And this expression is squared. We're going to be dividing that by 8 times m, where m is the mass of an electron, which is about 9.11 times 10 to the power of minus 31. And then we're going to be multiplying by L squared, which is just 5.0 times 10 to the power of minus 10 squared. Calculating this, we're going to get about 2.4 times 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. If we were to calculate this in electron volts, we would get around about 1.5 electron volts. Let's repeat exactly the same calculation for a macroscopic object. Rather than a little electron, like so, which is trapped within an atom, let's imagine that we just have a billiard ball, which is bouncing back and, back and forth between a normal box of, let's say, a distance of about one meter. What will be the lowest energy level of this ball according to quantum mechanics. For the billiard ball, and I'm going to do this right here, I'm going to say E subscript, let's say B, will just be equal to, once again, Planck's constant squared, which is going to be 6.63 times 10 to the power minus 4 joule seconds squared. I'm going to be dividing that by Eight. Now, let's say that the mass of the billiard ball is, let's say it's 0.2 kg, so times 0.2, multiply by the length squared, which is just one meter, so 1.0 squared, which is just one. We are going to get about 2.7 times 10 to the power of minus 67 joules. This is a monumentally small amount of energy and that will be the lowest energy that this macroscopic sized object could have. Let's take this a step further still. I'm going to show you why nuclear fission and nuclear fusion are so powerful. Let's imagine a particle such as a proton which is within the nucleus. So another particle in a box. All of these are obviously not the scale by the way and let's say that this one here now is a positive particle so it's a proton uh, the proton remember has a mass m which is 1.67 times 10 to the power minus 27 kilograms give or take and uh, let's say that now the size of the box is a typical nucleus size which is about let's say 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 14 meters let's find the lowest energy state of this particle. What we're going to get, and I'll write this over here, is using the formula. So remember n is equal to 1 for our lowest energy state, so we're just going to square Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the power minus 34. This is squared. And then we're going to be dividing that by 8 times the um, times the mass of the particle, which is 1.67 times 10 to the power of minus 27. And let's square the size of the box, which is about 1.0 times 10 to the power of minus 14 squared. And just to get our answer in electron volts, which is going to give us a little bit more of a um, of an intuitive sense for our answer. I'm also going to divide by the electron charge, which is just 1.6 times 10 to the power of 
minus 19. We are going to get a whopping 2.1 times 10 to the power of 6 electron volts, which is 2.1 mega electron volts, which is 2.1 million electron volts. Think about it, the energy, the lowest energy state of a proton inside the nucleus is a few million times larger in terms of energy compared to the lowest energy level of an electron within the atom. I know that you guys are wondering where does this equation actually come from and your first step towards understanding this is my video on Schrodinger's equation for particle in a box which you can find over there.